So my name is Patrick Maddox. I'm the director of solutions architecture at a company called Twistlock, um, partner of Amazon. Um, before I was at, at Twistlock, I, I, I worked at a configuration and automation company called Puppet. Um, and I'm here to talk to you uh, a little bit about sort of expanding on what we've heard from some of the previous speakers today, um, where we spent a lot of time talking about the fundamentals and sort of um, committing to a cloud service provider. Um, Twistlock's a cloud security company. Um, so we've been working in this space for the last roughly four years. Um, and, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about AWS App Mesh and security and, and what some of the aspects of something like App, App Mesh are, um, which is another layer of abstraction on top of the Kubernetes ecosystem. Um, but, but also talk about all, some of the other needs associated with beyond just sort of the service mesh uh, capabilities. So let's talk a little bit about App Mesh. Um, uh, our customers are choosing to use um, uh, technologies like App Mesh um, because it allows them a lot of flexibility beyond even what they're already experiencing with Kubernetes. Um, they get a lot of advantages for visibility into the different workloads they're running. Um, they get a lot of the communication that their application requires managed for them. Um, they end up with a lot of control and resiliency, um, depending on how they've built their mesh, but also the ability to move workloads around pretty dynamically, run a lot of tests, um, get a lot of integration into other processes they're using, and sort of move uh, a lot of their application deployments even closer to, to sort of, um, a lot of, in a lot of ways, a DevOps philosophy where everything is in, in, in built into code. Um, we have a couple of customers using AWS App Mesh. I'm gonna talk about one of them, um, um, who, who's a large financial services organization. And, and they chose App Mesh for a lot of the reasons that, that I just talked about. They wanted the rapid and flexible deployments. Um, their application is, is financial in nature, and so they needed um, a lot of the TLS wrapping of communication uh, that was provided. Um, they also wanted a holistic view of the security, both from a logging perspective um, and, and sort of everything around the flows associated with, with App Mesh itself. Um, and then ultimately they wanted to have everything driven off of a CI CD workflow. Um, so this, this is an organization that has a, a lot of legacy applications, but is very much moving some of their applications um, as close to the bleeding edge as they can get them. Um, the security team also had an, an, a lot of needs as well. So being a large financial institution, a lot of what they would typically um, gate their sort of ability to achieve velocity in running deployments um, was, was really what the security team had to be able to sign off on in order to, to really certify the infrastructure. Um, they needed the ability to visualize the environment. Um, uh, you know, the, the security team was very much inheriting um, a collection of, of things that were coming out of the development organization. Um, and they needed a lot of help rapidly uh, sort of absorbing all of that change. Um, one of the reasons that the, the application development team chose to go with a, an app mesh framework was because they, they wanted to iterate on individual components, um, and, but the security team really wasn't able to uh, sort of adopt all of that. Um, they, they weren't application, necessarily application experts, um, and, and they needed to understand the content and, content and context. Um, and they, they needed to be able to provide feedback, not just for the sort of mesh communication and the way the different application was built, but everything that that layer of abstraction was built on. Um, so starting with, you know, sort of the, the, the Kubernetes infrastructure that it built on, um, EKS, but all the way the hosts, and then sort of all the way up the stack. Um, so let's talk a little bit about some of the benefits they saw with Twistlock. And, in order to do that, I've got to sort of explain what Twistlock does. Um, Twistlock's a cloud native security company. Um, it, we provide a bunch of different capabilities across the, the platform, but um, they range from vulnerability management and compliance controls all the way through things uh, like cloud native firewalling um, that automatically learns the, the deployments that you're using and the, the individual communication across services, whether they're, they're in an app mesh or just a regular old namespace Kubernetes deployment. Um, we pro provide runtime defense and we integrate um, shifting security as far left as possible into integration with the CI system or maybe 
um, scanning for vulnerabilities and compliance issues before anything has even hit the CI system. Twistlog, when it's doing this, focuses on three main sort of capabilities and tenants. Um, we focus on automation, so everything in the product. Uh, we focus on visibility, um, and then we focus on prevention. Those three aspects sort of guide every single thing we do in the product. Whether you're, you're running sort of an app mesh-centric workload, or you're running um, sort of vanilla Docker, as an example. When it comes down to automation, Twistlock's doing a couple of things for this particular customer. Um, we're sort of dynamically learning the app mesh configuration. So as you change the mesh configuration, you're seeing that automatically brought into Twistlock. Um, we have the ability to learn and enforce behavior uh, from the workloads themselves. Um, you know, things like uh, automatically watching a new deployment, building a model for, for what it's doing. Um, we have the ability to integrate with any real CI system that you may be using to drive all the developments of the applications that ultimately make up part of this app, app mesh workload. And ultimately, Twistlock's API driven. So one of the core concepts and one of the reasons our particular customer uses Twistlock with the sort of the variety of different workloads they're running is because Twistlock allows them to, to implement security, but not sort of have the security things get in the way of sort of rapid deployment, rapid, rapid sort of um, iteration on their environment across individual applications. Um, Twistlock provides a lot of visibility, um, in-depth posture of the workloads. Um, so the services and mesh connectivity, um, complete vulnerability analysis, um, the compliance analysis, certainly this particular financial customer had a number of compliance needs as well. Um, and then really in-depth runtime defense. Um, where Twistlock's building a model for container behavior based on a number of different dimensions of what you typically think of container behavior, processes, network events, file system persistence, system calls. And then prevention. Um, so I've talked a little bit about vulnerability and compliance, but really the sort of goals for the customer is if they were shipping something that was vulnerable, uh, preventing uh, the orchestrator from launching a particular container that, that, that had a vulnerability at a threshold that they had set. Um, the ability to fail builds in your CI system based on the vulnerability or compliance issues uh, that were detected. Um, the ability to map out in a lot of fine-grained detail without having to have a lot of understanding about the application, um, what the different points of connectivity were across the variety of services that were running in the environment. And then ultimately, the ability to detect runtime anomalies. So really sort of the goal of the customer in, in using the mesh is, is sort of get a lot of the dynamic um, capabilities that something like an app mesh will give you. And I think you're gonna hear a lot more about that in one of the, the follow-up sessions, but also really to provide a lot of defense and depth for the overall application stack, um, including all the way down to the host level. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what some of this visibility is and what some of the things that sort of this, this particular customer as an example is able to see by using a tool like Twistlock. All right, what we're looking at right here is, is really a, a visual representation of the, of the mesh that I have built. And in this particular environment, just using a, an example um, that, that was developed, but the ability to shift workloads around. Twistlock, I didn't have to build anything out in Twistlock to learn this. I, I could have configured the application in any way, moved traffic around as needed. Um, Twistlock reads in the mesh config and sort of displays it for you. And we do this not just with things that happen to be in the mesh itself, but also adjacent namespaces that may be making calls into it. So you have a very sort of clear line into what the actual application flows are. Um, and that, that includes the ability to move workloads from one thing to another, ship a new version of a, a, of a particular service involved with the mesh, see all the container communication. And Twistlock's always working from building, building a minimal model for communication based on observed behavior, um, not just sort of this laborious effort of maintaining firewall rules and everything else. Um, that, that's, and sort of look at this as a summary view of the overall state of my environment. I've got the vulnerabilities here, I've got, you know, sort of runtime issues, compliance issues. But if we actually start diving into some of these, we can start seeing what some of the other details available to, to us and sort of understanding what's going on in, in the mesh um, or in the particular application. Um, Twistlocks through this view is really providing a top-down 
sort of insight into everything about the overall security posture of the environment. And th this is, again, why that financial services customer chose us. Now, they were already using Twistlock for other parts of their, their environment. They had a new team that was deploying new applications. And so we automatically became part of that because it gave the security team the same level of visibility that they had for the other types of workloads they were running. If we look at some of the other services running in the environment, we can see kind of the depth and detail that's available. Um, oh, sorry about that. The other services, there are the depth and detail available through some of the other views, the so sort of complex vulnerability analysis. Now, this is a very sort of simplistic image based on Alpine, but you're going to be building likely your services from the same sort of tools in the ecosystem that you have today. Um, again, so Twistlock's gonna be able to allow you to see all of that without, um, really without you having to build a lot of laborious policies or maintain a lot of firewall rules or anything like that. That's really what Twistlock's advantage is. We can also look at the compliance issues associated with things. We can see things like the sort of latest Alpine root vulnerability. Um, you can see sort of different compliance checks based on the CIS benchmarks. And all that in context of the, 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 the mesh that you happen to be running your application in. Um, and that's what I have to talk to you about today. So thanks, everybody.